Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to ask you to start your engines because it's not every day we have a four-time NASCAR Cup Series champ in the house. Please welcome Jeff Gordon. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. He is shut up cute, isn't he? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Shut up. <laughs> I know, right? He's like, you're embarrassing me. Yeah, you are. How and are you? know what I found so wonderful about getting to be a NASCAR fan myself, and now I've yeah, been to some to of the, the races? Yeah, you came to the, what, the Texas race? That's right. And maybe one other one. At Texas Speedway, exactly. I can't wait for Talladega. I mean, I I'm really into this now. I am so surprised by what gentlemen all of the drivers seem to be. You were all raised very well. Uh, well, thank you. Well, but I mean, you're I, very... Are you sure you met all the drivers? I met a lot of them, and they were great with the fans. They were so yeah. open with the NASCAR fans. Now, we're so... We, I think we all feel so fortunate. We came from, you know, backgrounds of, of cutting our teeth on short tracks around America. We never expected to, you know, get to that level and have hundreds of thousands of fans out there cheering for us and following us and asking for autographs. So I think we're very appreciative. But none of you act like rock stars. You you act like your cousins we're to these people. We're not rock stars. Or <laughs> we, guys next some door. Some of our you know cousins. I mean? uh, <laughs> 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 but, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, we just, we love what we do. And yeah. we have the best fans You really do. Sports. It's we a really whole do. culture, a whole <laughs> community. It is so much fun to hang out with the NASCAR fans, too. I started racing when I was, my, my parents got me into racing when I was very young, five and a half years old, quarter midgets, go-karts. Five years old, you're <laughs> out there racing this. Look at you. I was probably about six or seven here, but this is actually my, my mom. I, my dad used to take, <laughs> my dad used to take me and my mom to the track and, and he would put her out there and have me maneuver around her to, to, to practice. Here, go, go practice with mom in traffic, and, literally. And, and, you know, Unbelievable. I, I come from a fairly short family, so my mom could fit very well in my race cars and she was a heck of a driver always has been a great driver uh, mom is here we're going to chat with mom yes, in just a minute because yes. she's part of the reason that, that you came by to visit with us today but that's so amazing because you picture most moms trying to keep kids away from things where they could get injured or hurt and there's your mom at five come on let's race you know well, yeah i don't know if she was that supportive but uh <laughs> not at first you know i think well, i used to actually uh, before that i, I was a bmx well, at four, I raced BMX bikes, and she thought that was too dangerous. So when my dad... My I didn't even know they made BMX bikes for four-year-olds. Did I, you? I didn't either. <laughs> but we had a track <laughs> up the street from my house where I grew mm. up in California, and that's what all the kids in the neighborhood did. And then we thought that was too dangerous, or they thought that was too dangerous. So my stepfather comes home with this quarter midget, and she's... My mom's like, wait a minute, you went from a from a bicycle to a race car? Yeah, because that's so much more safe. And it actually was. It was much safer. Well, for you, basically. you got back on track, so that's to speak, right. right? That's right, absolutely. Oh, that was so clever. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> so, you know, I think that for people that aren't even that aware of NASCAR or just becoming NASCAR fans now, you're probably the driver that everybody was most aware of just from watching, uh, you know, uh, popular television shows like SNL or morning television or um, you know you became sort of a kind of a media darling you seem very comfortable in front of cameras was, did, was that something you had to work at or were you always I, yeah, I, just talk to this person it's no different if there's a camera there or not I, I, I did the Saturday Night Live thing that was probably one of the biggest adrenaline rushes I've ever had more so than any race I've ever run it was unbelievable they announce your name and you go out on the stage live and your heart is pounding out of your chest but it was also some of the most fun that I ever had um, you know I've done some some other shows and I like it but I don't know if that's really you know me and what I would want to do on a daily basis so mom I can't believe were you ever scared for him or did you ever think you know what I don't want him to do this anymore I've never felt like that. I've always been pretty comfortable with it, except for the bikes. <laughs> um, the cars in the beginning a little bit, but soon I realized that it was safer. And so, so it's, I've been okay with it. Mom's name is Carol, and w part of the reason that she's here today is that she's got a cookbook of her very own. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's sort of her very own. She wrote it together with her good friend, Martha Earnhardt, and it's, I love the name of this, Pit Stop in a Southern Kitchen. <laughs> 
So, Carol, was he a picky eater as a child, or was he a good eater? He's always been a really good eater. He was not picky at all. My daughter's very picky, but Jeff was really good. This as long is as we had some ketchup around. I yeah, <laughs> on everything. My husband likes hot sauce on everything. You like spicy food a little bit? I don't anymore, but when yeah. I was a kid, I did. Now, now mm -hmm. I eat anything. Now, this is, this is even more important to me. Was he good at cleaning up? Did he help with the dishes? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm still bad about that, too. No, no. Well, my so, mom's a, a great cook, and, and mm -hmm. what I love about her, her book that she put together with Martha is it's just very common, normal, you know, everyday food, but 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 simple, you know, and, and that's the kind of food that, that I like to eat, not just people in the South. It's, uh, well, everybody you know, it's here everywhere. was thumbing through it, and they're like, man, this is everything you love about American cuisine <laughs> all in one book. But we're going to talk a ton about the book. We're going to hang out with Carol, and we're even going to learn one of the family recipes. We're going to be in the kitchen with Carol and Jeff next.